Okay, so we've got a Samsung TV, second one. Is that Samsung? Somewhere here will be written. Okay. I know it might be difficult for you, but that's the Samsung. So you see the backlight is on and there's nothing else. Again, there is a second TV during this day today because I was testing one from Edinburgh. This one is from Livingston and customer uh, couldn't drop it off. I had to go and collect it and I'll uh, pause the recording right now. I'll open it and we will see if here as well is a problem with a main board or power supply or maybe there is a backlight issue. Yes, so be right back. Now guys, for those who have seen the other TV, you can see that in this model we still have a power supply and we still have a main board se separately, yes? Now, what I don't see here is second channel. So two channels, okay, are going through one wire. Which is, you know, for me it's unusual. I'm used to two uh, lines and then second goes to this. Whereas in that case, uh, either this board is doing, you know, segregation on of the lines, like, uh, you know, take signal from here and then segregate it onto two, uh, two lines, or in this case, there is no need to that. So that's something what I'm interested in, why there is only one connector. Now, um, <laughs> That's, that's quite interesting because usually I'm using one to disconnect and then see if the screen is coming back, yes? And then I can leave the second one and then do the opposite, yes? Whereas here I can't do it because I see only one. So I could, you know, like segregate section. One on one side, second on the second side. Yes, I could do it. Uh, but what if that's not the issue, yes? And there is another issue. What if there is, you know, like a backlight issue, yes? Mm. And that's, you know, like that's shorting power supply and because of power supply shorted, you know, you don't have all the stuff with that. So I don't know that, yes? So what I could do is, actually those are the clips here, okay? Those are the clips. Could slide that off, but with holding me this it's difficult so I'll pause it again and capacitors doesn't look swole, swollen so it's fine those ones as, as well so these are looking okay I don't know if they are okay but I can measure if I've got a voltage here if I've got a voltage here you know and it's not dropping then in that case for me that will be the culprit this this the driver board or uh, coughs yes uh, and that's it you know those, those three problems only uh, so yeah let me pause let me check and we will be back okay guys so I brought in the meter and I've tested before doing anything and I've took this diode here and look what's happening when I press it and I'll hold it Look at the backlight that it's on and it's dropping to 175 volts DC, yes. And then when the LEDs are off, it's popping out to 200, okay. So then again, you know, it's just 170 to 200, which is, you know, like normal. But the question is, why? Is it the backlight? Should, should be the cause, you know, because that, that can cause that. That can cause drop even further. That's that's a small drop to be true. You know, so I would say I would say that it might be a backlight and it's worth investigating, yes? So what I'm thinking of is I'm thinking that the idea of disconnecting whole power supply and switching off the backlight, it's a nice idea. Now without the backlight, okay, without the backlight, we should have dimmed picture which you know i need a flashlight because i'm using this flashlight here i mean this phone here okay so i can't use this flashlight so i need to bring in a torch and with that torch and with disconnecting the backlight 
we will be able to see if that's causing the short okay so be right back okay guys so what i did it was removing this one okay removing this one with board here you've got only unlock and here you need to unlock as well oh, sorry here you've got unlock so you need to lift it up here you've got a button you've got you you'll see them uh, quite often depend on the model and i've disconnected connected back and as i as as i anticipate you know the drop on this diode was not that big yes so it's it's normal uh, you can say drop now yes now uh, what i did is i did press for 30 seconds at least take out the power yes and i did that let's connect it will be blinking probably as it was before so let's see okay it's backlight is on yeah one two you've seen it yes one two one two yes backlight is on and it's off okay again twice So we know that's not the problem with the power and re what's called a soft reset. Okay, we know that's not the problem. Uh, to check if that's a problem with a display, we can just disconnect it for now. Plug the cable in and observe. If that will be double blink. We know that it's not a problem with the LVDS. Oh, look, I don't see a problem. I don't see it. And the TV, we've heard the TV, so it's back on. So now the main board is working fine because it, it was, it was the sound of the TV. Yes. Look at the backlight. Everything's fine. You see permanently. Now the voltage will be probably stable. Okay. So let's do the 1000 volts again. Let's get the, this black probe somewhere attached. And let's the, get the me measurement of the same diode and look. 169 is a normal voltage now you see so it has this peak of over 200 volts just because it was in this zone of boot loop okay so one once disconnecting this one of course we will have no picture because we've got no signal coming into the um, to the display right now okay but we see that there is no problem with the backlight as such so what we can do is we can cut off some of those signals here by putting some tape. Let me get some uh, even printer paper or something and I'll be right back. I'll cut off like half of it and I'll leave half and then I'll test the other side. And if I'll see anything on the picture, I'll uh, unpause and I'll start the recording. If I'll check everything and there is no picture, I will still unpause it and still start the recording. Okay guys, so I've done it on two sides and as you can see the backlight is stable, it's on uh, and at the back you can see that as well. But we've got no picture, so we need to check which signals are now not getting to the uh, to the display, yes? Is it a 12 volts like a VIN VCC or maybe some other signal like VGL, VGH or so on? For now, we know that it's not a problem with a backlight. For now, we know that it's not a problem with the power supply. We know that if there is any problem, that will be either with the main board or with a driver board. OK, so we need to verify it. Guys, I'll need to stop it here because I see that voltages are dropping. So uh, there is a cost to that and I need to investigate it. Why? Yes. Uh, from what I see at the moment, okay, it it either shorted on the driver board through the to the cough somewhere here, or it has to be a main board. Uh, now, because I'm in the least comfortable position and I don't have my microscope, I've got only you know wobbly 
lamp here so you know it's it's quite difficult to to test this 70 inch tv um so i need to have at least the proper stand for some light or get a torch uh, which will light up better me the environment because my eyesight is not that great and then i can check because from what i see there's certain signals if you will disconnect you know then it's going off so i need to know which one it is i've seen here it was plus 18 and dropping down to zero so i would assume you know that one of the major uh, signals are dropping so that that's a good sign that's mean you know we can investigate it no problem but i'm guessing you know and and i don't like guessing it's least efficient in what i'm doing and plus customer would like to have it fixed not just wait several weeks or months before i'll do it that's why let's call it a day thank you for watching it's, if possible please like or subscribe and we will see in the next part of this tv uh, hopefully we have a solution yes we have a ready solution uh, it's i would say it's more than possible to to fix it but i you know like let's fingers crossed you know i'm no expert like other youtube channels i just observe and learn on a daily basis and i see more and more technologies quite often so you know so it's it's something for sure to learn uh, but it's not something which i haven't seen in the past okay so let's fingers crossed that's something similar and i'm capable of helping this customer here so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video bye bye